Now follow me with this, because I'm not, I'm not trying to be messy, but I just want to get your thoughts. Obviously, with the, recently the Marvin Bagley father situation, and then, and, then, and then your dad says something. But, yo, when I read your response to what had been said, that I really couldn't stop laughing for like three straight. You just said, Jesus Christ, with the exclamation, <laughs> like, what the fuck? Now, we're in a new age, obviously, where, you know, I commend any fathers that have their kids back, and I understand the whole thing, but not I don't think dads, because they're new to the social media game, yeah. understanding the power they have at the palm of their hands. So they're tweeting right. things that they may tell your mom or your family, Marvin's dad doing what he does. How does that, how, how do you guys keep that energy um, out of the locker room and, and keep you, you guys on the same page because the parents think they're just speaking, but they're not realizing that what they're saying is going to go around the world and on every news station and get all kinds of coverage. Yeah, man, I told – I saw it 15 minutes after the tweet went up. Uh, <laughs> Jack, you see I his was, response? He just said, Jesus Christ, the next one that yeah, shit I was, had I me did, run. I did, like, I did. What the, he's like, what the fuck is going Cause, on? Because, yo, I right start now? getting – I'm getting tagged and shit. I'm like, yo, what's going on? <laughs> So I see it on Twitter and I'm on FaceTime. I was actually on FaceTime with my fiance at the time. I see that shit. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? I'm like, yo, now I'm about to be pulled in some shit that I didn't want to be involved in. So I, I text my dad and then I text the group with my dad, mom, and brother. And I'm like, yo, like, y'all can't do this shit. Because regardless <laughs> of, regardless of if anything y'all say, it's motherfuckers you. not going to ask y'all. They going to ask you. me about it. Right. And I'm like, yo, like, y'all got to start thinking about me before y'all put anything on the internet. Absolutely. Exactly. And the thing exactly. is, like, I know my pops. You know, Mississippi, hey, Mississippi born and raised. Mm -hmm. The second he probably saw that tweet, he like, ah, let me let me tweet this shit. He <laughs> did. I know he did. He ain't think twice about it. Right. But uh, for your right. question, like with the locker room, we, we said something about it, but like nobody's really worried about it, to be honest. Yeah. You yeah, know, his so. parents, it ain't nobody nobody's thinking about that at all. Like and people think, you know, I'm trying to do like um I'm just trying to you know, say it to the media. But like, I told my people like, yo, no one it's fucking tweets. Nobody give a fuck about that shit. Like, for right, real. right. Nobody right. thinking That's about that shit. Be. We go, we, we had a practice. We, we had a game. Nobody's thinking about that shit. Obviously, we got an ass whooped yesterday, but we just got an ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? Fucking mm -hmm. Kelly ain't made it. And I fucking, me and Kelly played together. Uh, we played AAU together, but Kelly ain't, Kelly was fucking one for 40 and he hits four threes against us. You know what I mean, like it just it was their night and they played better than us. But as far as that tweet that the, the, the Twitter stuff goes, man, nobody nobody was worried about that. There's no room for none of that in the locker room, though. Yeah, you know not, I mean? at it's, it's, not at all. Not at all. There's, 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 there's no room for none of that. And then then again, Matt, you know I'm gonna say this. Shit, if, if Marvin didn't throw hands with with uh with Dame, shit, ain't nobody better not throw hands. Everything better be cool in that locker room. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's also, you know, like a teaching moment, you know, for parents, you know what I mean? Well, he had to pull up on his mom, dad, and brother. Like, you have to realize, you know, although you may feel this way, it's me that you have to think about because your name won't be in the paper. They'll say, you know, obviously De'Aaron's dad, but it's De'Aaron that's in the spotlight, you know? And it's similar to criticism that, that you know, that, that LeVar is taking because he's speaking on behalf of his sons and his sons are like, yo, what the fuck? You know, people are thinking this is me, but it's not me. And so it, it's, like you said, it, it, it's a new age and I think this is going to become the new norm. And I'm glad you guys were able to put the fire out because you got to be able to block the good and the bad out in that locker room. Only the motherfuckers. I saw Luke Walton talk about it. I played with Luke. And, I mean, I'm old school, so I know the deal. It's All the outside noise. <laughs> this nigga's <is> crazy. <laughs> it's <laughs> This dude is crazy. But hey, but, that, ain't, but that, that ain't even more. That oh, ain't even bad. Hey, that ain't even Bagley Ilmo though. Like he a laid back cat, you know what I'm saying? Like that ain't even him. Like I, that's the that's the little homie. Like he ain't even no, you know what I'm saying? Conversation to guy like that. I knew, you know what I'm saying? It was all gonna it was all gonna go away. But just the fact that people on the outside, like y'all say, they got to pay attention to stuff like that because it right. can't affect a locker room. Not knowing if we would have won that game, shit would have been over. Nobody would have mm -hmm. talked about it no more, most likely. But right, we got blown out, and everybody think the chemistry fucked up, and now it's just a whole another thing that you got to listen to.